all right so i'm gonna keep this introduction nice and short if you guys are new to the channel please do subscribe you know what i'm saying we're approaching 3k subscribers you know what i mean so it'd be much much appreciated if you guys could just consider hitting that sub button you know it's free you know what i'm saying it's free so if you if you know what i'm saying if you're trying to help me out make sure you hit that sub button drop a like in the video too and uh yeah let's just get straight to this video man all right so pretty much how this video is gonna go is we're gonna be ranking each of the five bankai so how we're gonna do is we're gonna go into one bankai at a time we're gonna go through all four of the skills and rate each skill out of 10. we'll then give it an overall rating out of 10 and a rating like a b c d tier s tier whatever so on so forth so that's pretty much how we're gonna be ranking them we're gonna be starting with ryujin jacket and working all the way up the list so uh yeah it's a good strength all right so for the first skill of ryujin jacket I'm going to be talking about why I give it this rating but before I get into the rating I'm going to be saying why I think this skill is at this level. So if you guys didn't know there'll probably be a clip of this of the skill on screen right now. It's a pretty decent skill. It has very good range and I think it does about 99 or 100 damage which is really good. It does a lot of damage you know what I'm saying. However I don't really see this skill being easy to land in PvP. I mean it has a lot of range but you know it's not really big AoE and you know it has a little bit of wind up like you guys will be able to see like it does like a little the initial animation and then it takes a little second before the actual explosion comes up which is why i feel like it's not as easy to hit so because of that i'll give it a 7 out of 10 mainly because it does good damage and i guess there is some situations where you can land it because the majority of people that play project who gets you they're not that good at combat games anyway so it's not going to be hard to land as the second skill is very op pretty much what it does is it wraps the user's body in like a it engulfs it with flames and it shoots out a massive aoe attack stunning anybody that's, that's inside it, like you know inside the radius hitting them multiple times multiple times and also allows you to combo extend it's very op i didn't exactly see how much damage this skill does because it just does so much damage like you guys will see on the screen like it does tick 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 it does so much damage however there is one downside that i noticed when i was watching the showcase and that only downside is the fact that if you miss the skill you don't seem to be able to cancel it or be able to move during it so like if you miss the skill and you're fighting somebody that has like a lot of keto skills like range skills like high-end byakurai and stuff you're just gonna be forced to eat those attacks while you're stunned just because you missed it, you know what i'm trying to say so because of that reason i'll give it an 8 out of 10. the reason why i'm giving it an 8 obviously is because the damage is amazing if you actually land it it also combo extends but if you miss it you can get punished badly onto the third skill and in my opinion the strongest skill in the entire bankai it is the skeleton move where it's basically he summons skeletons from the ground and if you guys watch the anime you can get more specific it's pretty much the opponent's dead friends basically he summons them and they go and attack the opponent what's op about this move is that each he spawns, he spawns around seven different zombies and each one of those zombies all explode and each time they explode they do a little bit of damage but they stun the opponent and knock them down which is so overpowered because imagine uh, like that just that's just free pressure You're just attacking them for free it's free pressure it's auto aim auto tracks you don't have to do anything that's already happening so meanwhile they're getting stunned by those skills you can maybe use your x skill that stuns them etc it's just it's just free there's no reason why i wouldn't give this a 10 out of 10. i mean yes they could flash step away from it but like they still the zombies will keep tracking to you you know what i'm saying until they detonate so it's very op so yeah i'll give that skill a 10 i think that's probably one of the only 10s for a skill i'd give to be honest but yeah onto the final skill for region jack all right so last but not least as the developer said themselves the skill the basically the uh, the the wielder becomes like some kind of wild intense crimson flame so pretty much what it does is like it's some kind of like mobility skill it pushes you forward and wherever you will wherever you move your character flames will come behind you basically and if anybody's inside that area that's getting like attacked by flames it does damage to them i'm pretty sure it is blockable however it is just a good move just to be using when it's off cooldown it's not really much else i have to say about that skill i give it an easy six out of ten it would be higher if i knew the exact damage it did but all i know is that from the video that they were showcasing in the showcase it didn't really do that much damage to be honest and it looked like it's easy to just flash step away from it or you know something around a muscle slide so i feel like it's a six out of ten seven out of ten on a good day so this on screen should be an added up total of all of the um different rankings i gave for the four skills and now i'm gonna rank it out of 10 in my opinion it's an eight out of ten or a b plus I would like to say if you guys are still watching up to this point make sure you guys hit that sub button you know what i'm saying like i said we're trying to hit 3k enough of the shameless plug let's just get straight back into this all right so next up we got gins biker now this one's gonna be very quick because it's not as in-depth however for the first skill let's talk about it. the first skill in my opinion is one of the worst skills in the game it, it, like bro it, it should be a shikai skill if anything is a very bad skill in my opinion the reason why i say that is because it's a grab skill 
And if you guys play Project Bugetsu, people don't know how to end one. So like, just that being a grab skill in general already makes it a bad skill. You know what I'm saying? However, there is some stuns. Yes, you can end one people, which is why when it hit, it's decent. But it knocks back. It doesn't even combo extend. You know what I'm trying to say? It has so many downsides. Like, yes, it's a cool grab skill, but like it doesn't combo extend. The damage is insane. It's not auto aim, auto tracking, nothing. It's just a grab skill. It's a mediocre skill you should find inside like a skill tree, not inside a banker. You know what I'm saying? So for that reason, I'm gonna give it a four out of ten. It's still decent. It's just that I don't. I wouldn't. If I had this, I would just reroll it. I'm not gonna lie. All right. So this one's gonna be quick. The next skill is pretty much a short mini barrage kind of thing. And to be honest, there's really nothing wrong with this skill. It's a nice short, quick load barrage. I mean, compared to the region Jackers one, it's not as big. It doesn't do as much damage. However, it doesn't also doesn't have as much as like, you know, a downside say if you miss it. Whereas the Radio Jack has one last for like 10 seconds. So if you miss, you get punished. So this I'll give it a solid 8 out of 10. There's really nothing wrong with this skill. Alright, so for the third skill, it's honestly pretty decent. I'd, I mean, it's okay. It's pretty much like a really like a big long range like slice skill. The thing is, is, it's quite fast. You know what I'm saying? Like, I feel like it's actually practical. I feel like you actually be able to land it in fights. So because of that reason alone, I'm going to give it a 6 out of 10. I would give it a higher would give it a higher rating if not for the fact that it's it's like very skinny slim so it's not hard to it's not easy sorry it's not easy to land in an actual fight especially when people are going to be flash stepping around spamming skills using key blasts whatever the hell they're going to be doing like it's going to be hard to actually land that skill but if you're able to like trap somebody in one spot and then hit them with that skill it could be pretty good all right so for the fourth skill i'm not gonna lie it's honestly a pretty decent skill it's a really long range skill so as all the other skills it applies slow as well and it does a really decent amount of damage i'm not gonna lie the only thing is it has a really long wind up however i think it's worth it because if it lands it also ragdolls your opponent slows them down does all this kind of stuff so i'm gonna give this skill a solid I'll give it a seven out of ten on screen now is a total so overall i'm gonna give this uh bankai let's give it a hmm, i give it a six out of ten and aka a c tier all right so next up we got hiyori Mar, which is the ice bunker because the video is going to be a bit too long i'm not going to really explain the skills but you're going to see it on screen for this skill i'm going to give it a seven no i'll give it an eight out of ten the reason why is because it freezes your opponent you can really just use it freeze them and come with them it's really op the second skill this one is one of my favorite skills definitely on nine out of ten it's a little dash and if the dash comes if you come in contact with the enemy in a dash it freezes them not to mention you can use it at very close range to freeze them as well it's just it's just, it's just op easily nine out of ten the third skill which is in my opinion the strongest skill in the entire bankai is pretty much you summon like icicles around your opponent and if they're inside that wide area they instantly either take i think 85 damage or they get block broken it's overpowered strongest skill probably in one of the strongest bankai skills in the entire easily a 10 out of 10. and for the final skill was pretty much like an ultimate skill honestly i don't really have anything bad to say about it i don't really understand how it works so i give it a 7 out of 10 mainly because you can see it does damage it has a huge aoe it looks cold and it's just, you know what I'm saying? It's cold. You know what I'm saying? I'm going to give it a 7 out of 10. When I learn more about how it actually works, because I think it's auto aim, which is why it's so ranked so high, I'm going I'm to keep it at that for now. 7 out of 10. On screen now is the overall for this. To be honest, this is definitely a 9 out of 10. In my opinion, it's better than Ryu Jin Jacker. 9 out of 10, I'll give it an A rank. A. All right, so next up on the list, we got Zangits. All right, so starting with the first skill, is pretty much like energy blast, I guess. Thing, the thing that's cool about it is that the further away you are, the further the dash, the, the slashes will be, which is very cool to be honest. Because of that, it does do pretty good damage as well. It also combo extends. I'm going to give it an 8 out of 10 because it's honestly a very good skill. Combo extends, it has range. It's sick. As for the second skill, I'm not going to lie, I'm not too big of a fan of this skill. The reason being is the fact that the skill is like a multi hit skill, but then it knocks them away. It ragdolls them. It doesn't, it doesn't combo extend, you know what I mean? It does decent damage, but it doesn't even combo extend. I'd rather have, much rather have like a big AoE skill that does high damage, and that's it. Because of that, I'm going to give that skill give it a 6 out of 10. The third skill is where it gets serious. It's literally a teleport. It teleports you behind your opponent. Bang! It's so overpowered. It teleports you behind your opponent. And high speed just does a slash. I don't think you could you normal people would be able to even react to that. It's just very fast. It's very OP. This is an easy 10 out of 10 skill. Nothing wrong with it. Wouldn't recommend anything changed for that skill. Easy 10 out of 10. And for the final skill is Gesicko Tensho. To be honest, it is canon. It's nice and so like the way it is in the anime and the manga and stuff, but 
to be honest for a game like project gets the way people spam and run and stuff i don't see it being practical i don't see it being easy to hit people with you know what i mean so because of that i'm going to give it a 7 out of 10 mainly because it is an ultimate move it does high damage there's situations where you could obviously hit it so because of that 7 out of 10 if it were faster similar to one like gains it would be an easy 10 out of 10. all right so on screen is the total for that uh for zangetsu and i'm gonna give this a i'm gonna give this a 8 out of 10 same as uh region jacker which is crazy even though region jacker the one percent but yeah i'm gonna give it an 8 out of 10 and a b plus rank all right and last but not least we got sample and sakura sorry if i sound a little bit tired i literally am it's 3 a.m nearly 4 a.m i just said i'll record this and edit it this night but uh yeah and i kind of say but yeah on to the last one sample and sakura let's go rank it all right so for the first skill of sample sakura it's pretty much your you turn into like kind of like little you do a little dash with your sword pretty much and Whoever you land, the dash brief does a little cool cutscene and it slams them down, letting you combo extend, which means it's a true combo extender, which is pretty cool. You could also you could also use it at close range, which is pretty decent as well. And it doesn't really do that much damage, but it does really help with like you know gap closing and you know catching runners and stuff. I'm gonna rate that skill. I'm gonna give it an eight out of ten. The second skill is very overpowered. It's pretty much the base ultimate, except it attacks pretty much anybody that's not even inside that little zone. As long as you have your mouse cursor to point it towards them, it will keep hitting them and hit. <laughs> Let's not even talk about the damage. You guys probably see it on screen already. Let's not even talk about the damage. Easy 10 out of 10 skill. It ultra tracks to your mouse no matter where you are. So if your opponent is running, you can still catch them. Your third skill is pretty much a similar skill to your base. You pretty much shoot out a like little like sembon and then it pretty much explodes into like thousands of fragments that explodes in your opponent which is very overpowered. It looks like it does a lot of damage too and it actually does do a lot of damage. I'm not going to lie to you. Not to mention, it is pretty easy to like land. You just literally press it as long as you point it at the mouse button on the opponent. It's not hard to hit, but it's also, it also doesn't really seem like it's easy to. Uh, it also seems like, sorry, it seems like it's easy to dodge as well. So because of that, I'm gonna put it at a seven. I won't can't really go any higher. As for the ultimate, to be honest, this is probably one of the easiest ultimates to land. It's not that cool. The damage is nothing crazy. It's pretty much just like a dash skill except the thing about it is it does a little big explosion at the end of it which is very good because this this alt is actually easy to land i feel like a bit like other alts similar to like ichigo's uh gets a potential stuff because this one you can actually aim and then when you hit your opponent bang you explode them and you hit them with your ultimate whereas some other ones in this video you would have seen it doesn't really work like that it's just not the best so in my opinion senpo sakura's ultimate is definitely a 10 out of 10 ultimate it's very easy to hit and does a lot of damage senpo sakura actually ranks as the highest in the list um i give it well the points are on the screen and i give it an s tier which is yeah s tier 10 out of 10 to be honest it's really in my opinion senpo sakura is the strongest bankai in the game mainly because of the fact that i mean the shikai is strongest in this as well i say senpo sakura is the strongest bankai followed by ryujin jaka and then Hiromaru, Zangetsu, and then Gin's Bankai, which is the worst Bankai. Anyways, that's gonna be it for today's video. Sorry if I sound like you know a little bit like sickly or anything. It's just very late. I'm tired, and it's just sad I record this and edit it now and get it out for the day. But uh, yeah. Anyways, it's been Kaijin. If you guys are new, make sure you guys hit that sub button. If you if you watch the video all the way to this point and you haven't subscribed, bro, what are you doing? Just hit that sub button. You know what I'm saying? Anyways, it's been Kaijin, and we out, man.